Hey folks, the desert artist here. I'm down at the bottom of this pan here and I got uh, I got the, some really fine stuff in here and I want to show you an example of how the clay will lighten the gold and you will lose gold if you don't wait long enough and rinse out all your clay. Now, I'm gonna, oh, here, here's my handy dandy empty pan here. Now you notice it's nothing fancy. Right, all it's got is deep ridges up here. There's about six of them up there. Now, I'm going to point you down here to the, to the, to the, to the pot down here. It's full of, full of my clay and my uh, gold. Now, this is the second panning. Now, I have panned through this once already, and I have panned my way down to the bottom near this one. There's nothing but clay and uh, gold and black sand and whatever I happen to have floating around in the water. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir this up and get it into a nice clay-like status, right? Nice and soupy and, and like, now I, I know, I know what you're saying. Now, anything can carry out whatever with however much swiftness of the water, and blah, 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 add geometry here. Uh, geology, trigonometry, calculus, I don't know, whatever. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point you down here. Now this is uh, this is my pot here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir this up, All right? Because I know I got stuff down here, and I'm going to really get it. Let's stuff this down in the bottom, and it's really really on there. Yeah, probably should have done this beforehand. I'm sorry, but then you thought maybe I was faking or something. I don't know. So, I got about half of it now, so working our way, plucking it up from the bottom and working the clay around and getting it to a nice steel liquid factor. All right. All right, it feels like it's all kind of loose in there now. So, here we go. Now, this can be used in two different ways. Now, I don't know exactly what would be the best way to use clay. Seeing how it's so hard to get rid of, I guess it'd be best to use it in some sort rather than to dismiss it as another. Because dismiss, yeah, when you'll see me panning this out, dismissing it is a pain in the butt. All right, so here we, we're gonna get this nice and, nice and good and liquefied, right? Now, yeah. I'm gonna spin this around. Okay, now I like a centrifuge, okay? So we're gonna expect all the gold to go to the center. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the flow of water, All right? So I'm stopping the flow of water. And I'm mixing it up. I'm waiting a couple seconds. Gonna get a blob of water. Just a blob of water. Look, no, there's no, no, nothing in the bit, nothing in it whatsoever. Okay? That was probably a state of, uh, I don't know what four or five seconds before I grab the pan from stopping. Now, the amount of time, four to five seconds, right? And the stop in the pan, boy, that's a lot of action that can go along in one, two, three, or four or five or six, holy crap, seconds, you know? Okay, now what I'm doing now is I'm slowly, I'm letting it, the everything settle from the clay and then pour out the clay water nice and slow because it's going to be right at the top, gnarly barley. And see how I'm pulling it, see how I'm pulling it back a little bit when I get down, right? So I'm pouring this down. See? Now, now that I've got, I left a little bit in there, right? Now, now you can see that I wasn't lying. But I didn't pick anything up from the bottom. This is just silt, okay? Now, we're gonna go in here and get some more of this clay water. We're gonna, we're gonna shake it down a little bit more and get some. Maybe we should go over to the other one with some fresh water. That might work even a little bit better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna let this water out nice and slow like. I don't want to lose anything there. Right, I see the floaty goat floating away. 
Alright, I don't see anything hanging out up on the top here. So we can put, oh, eh, a little bit. Alright, now, uh, we'll go here. Yeah. Okay. Use this water now, it's a little bit more clean. Alright. A little better light too. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just shaking this stuff out. Alright? Getting the clay and mixed in with the water so I can I can get that nice fine stuff gold. Alright? Now I'm stopping, right? Letting it hang out for a few seconds. Alright? Oh, I see it. Uh-huh. I can see it right up here in the top. Yep, you see it where the water's starting to expose the dirt? Alright. Now we're gonna go in for another. It's a nice cleaner water. Now, this is time number three. Time number three. Alright. Then we have mixed this in and got it all around. And then waited a few seconds. And get rid of that clay water again. I know this is boring for you people, right? Trust me, you're not going to be disappointed. So, now, now we've got all that down here. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to go back and forth. And, and you can see how I'm doing this now. Is I'm not sloshing it around like I've seen some painters do, right? What I like to do is I like to play with the water. First, I have the arm wrestling one, where it's a little bit quicker. And see how it kind of rolls up little arms on each side? I call that arm wrestling, right? Where you get just the right speed and goes like that, get some liquefaction, a blob down, that stuff down there. Then I got the then I got the slow wave, right? And that's when they get down a little bit more. Right? Let me get down a little bit more, and I'll show you what that is. I like to jiggle it too. This is called a jiggler. That gets it all down. I see. I know. I'm seeing the fine gold right there on the, right there on the, right there. You can see it. It's right there on the edge. Uh huh? Now. Yeah. That's that floaty gold now. All right. So, I'm going back down here and I'm jiggling, jiggling, jiggling. Right. Okay. So we're getting this clay out of here. We're probably losing. Some, oh, I see that flying fine gold too. You know, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> eh, it's so hard to see the gold just gotta roll over the edge, you know. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lower it down. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that, jiggle it right down to that light stuff. Just kind of rolls right out with the water. Yep, and I see myself losing gold too. Mix this right in with that brown stuff. Okay. Now, because it's a little easier to see the gold against the gray stuff and the black stuff instead of the brown stuff, I'm going to show you exactly. Now, remember, I haven't added anything to this or nothing. Right? This is just from the clay. Five seconds after I stopped rolling it around. Okay? Now, do you see? Tell me you don't see all that gold in there. Right? Do you see it? That's right. Look. Uh-huh. see it sparkling I know you have to you have to see it sparkling my point is proven clay you gotta get rid of it it's the ultimate evil um, please pass this on to your fellow desert gold miners because if you have to crush up rock like I do or use a pulverizer, you're going to get clay mixed in with it. And you know, it's 
gotta make sure you get the clay out. If you don't, you don't recover the gold. My most <laughs> elbow grease makes it worth it. You got to pan by hand. You guys have a great day. Be safe.